what's up youtube so i'm back with another video we got this real cute halloween drawn hand drawn set today okay it's halloween season it's spooky season so we're gonna get right into this so this is actually scary movie so it's scream but if you haven't seen scary movie you are that's my daughter in the background she can be in the background so i'm sorry y'all but if y'all haven't seen scary movie y'all are tripping go check that out that used to be my favorite movie like it's funny but it's based off it's based off screen but it's funny so this set has actually been going around on instagram like crazy everyone's remaking it so i think the person who started it was i'm gonna add a picture right here and that was her instagram and i think she started it but it was super cute so we decided to recreate it and do our own little sketch to it or whatever so of course we actually just soaked her oh, nails man. off before so that was me just going through to push her cuticles back and then we going in with my hand file to remove all of the excess and the oils uh, and make uh, sure nothing uh, is on the nail bed and then we're gonna be applying a tip uh, so i'm gonna just go ahead and file all of the nails and i'll be back So, my daughter has been sick, and no, it's not COVID, but yeah, she been sick. She had, she had like a little fever, not high enough, but she did have like a little temperature, and her nose has been super runny, and she was vomiting a little bit. So, she's been home from daycare the past couple of days, just trying to get some rest, but she just restless. Like, the first day, she was sleeping all day, but now... She's starting to get a little better. She just want to run all around, but I'm just keeping her home just to make sure that she's okay. So that's why she's going to be in the background. Sorry, y'all, but, you know, I got to make sure my baby okay. But she right here acting crazy. And, yeah, so we just going in. I also recorded my nails that are on right now, which is like a snake print French tip. I recorded those too, boo, so I'm going to be posting those probably within the next week and i already got my tip size and we are using the mccart tips for this set so i went in with my dehydrator from valentino to apply that and i'm just gluing all of the tips on and we doing double tips too so i actually had someone ask me do i use like the same size for the double tips or bigger and i just answered with like either one honestly because it just depends how many tips do i have at that moment like am i running out of tips if i am i'm gonna use a size that's bigger that doesn't really get used a lot or if i have a good amount i usually use a, a bigger size anyways because i'm gonna be cutting them down anyways so i use a size that doesn't get used a lot but or like one size bigger i mean you can use like if you're using the ec basket nails i would recommend using the same size because like it just doesn't work when you try to use a bigger size and then cut it down like it just ends up being all weird like the shape so my dogs are going crazy but yeah so with the mccart it's better um i mean it's good if you use the same size but like if you go in a bigger size that's good too like it doesn't matter so we went in cut down to her length cut off the little edges so i can do some tapered square and then i'm cleaning up the shape and i'm going in to blend the tip into the natural nail and i'm doing this on all of the fingers and i'll be back
So you guys can see this band-aid on my finger, on my right hand. If you been at, at my channel, y'all know what happened to my thumb on my left hand. If you haven't, you could go check out the video where I did like the 3D snakes on myself. And I'm explaining what happened, but I basically pulled off my whole natural nail. Like I hit my nail and it lifted my whole natural nail same thing happened again so this is actually the first set that i had in like three months because i lifted my thumbnail and i wasn't i was like you know what let me take a break from the nails let my nail grow back and it finally grew back so i'm like yes you know bad bitch again you know back in action with my long nails and again like i don't know why my nail just like the acrylic part just don't come up like why does my natural nail have to come with it i don't understand it just keep doing this so and it was the day before i did these nails so i just like stuck a band-aid on it two band-aids i got one regular band-aid and then a little princess band-aid <laughs> my daughter's band-aids so and that was just to make sure that i don't hit it again and it lifts up while i'm doing her nails or you know no dust gets in there or anything usually i like kept the band-aid off of it so that the area can breathe and heal but yeah i was like let me secure it for this part but this these nails i actually saw my snake print my 3d snake nails i did in my i did on a friday and my nail lifted saturday like literally the next day and my nail was like so messed up so we ready for acrylic now i'm putting my no lift nail primer on and i decided to start going in twice with the primer just to like double the results so i'm doing that and then i'm going in with my crystal clear to just put a clear little layer on the natural nail and this is because um one if they want to do a acrylic redesign we can file down to that clear layer to um it prevents lifting because we put in acrylic on as soon as we done putting that primer on so we using that primer when it's like the best at its best if that makes sense you know we're not waiting till the primer wears down and that can cause lifting so and also just to protect the natural nails from any pigments or acrylic colors that we're going to be using as well so yeah but anyways back to my story well I don't know what I was saying, but yeah, I lifted my nail again. Oh, this set was on for this set was on for two weeks before I lifted my nail up. And so for this color, I'm using Luxurious Pink from Valentino. So I'm going in with that on most of the fingers because that's gonna be our background color. And then for the pinkies, I went in with HBIC from nail house which is this pretty pretty pink glitter so yeah but i had these nails on for like two weeks and then my nail lifted and this video is almost a week old so my nails have been on for three weeks now no lifting okay period no lifting on myself like what but i got that video coming for y'all too like i mentioned but like um why did my nail have to lift like that just irritated me so i cut it down the day after i did this i cut my nail down and i soaked it off surprisingly it didn't hurt or sting in the acetone so it really it's not as bad as my thumb was like my thumb was pussing and bleeding and literally i could lift up my whole nail like even the next day this it just lifted a little bit but it was still bleeding and but there was no pus like i couldn't lift it up again it is just a little bit loose but i just went ahead and soaked it off just so that my nail could heal anyways so now i have no pointer nail but i'm still keeping my nails on i might like redo that nail once it heals up a little bit more um right now i think it's a little bit bruised no i don't think it's bruised i'm looking at it right now but it's not bruised. It just lifted up a little bit. It's better now. But I'm going to still wait just a little bit. Probably when I do my fill-in or something, I'll just put that nail on. 
But I'm sorry if I'm talking too much, but y'all say, you know, y'all like when I talk. So, but I'm going to give it a little break and just let y'all watch my application. Always remember to keep your monomer filled. Don't be like me and wait till it gets all the way down to the bottom. You don't want to do that. You always want to make sure that your monomer is filled up to where your brush is completely submerged when you dip it in. So I recently changed my liquid to, I was using the Valentino monomer and I changed it to the CND monomer, CND retention liquid monomer. And I love it, honestly, but... The only thing is, it's terrible when it comes to nail house powders. Like, the two just do not blend. Like, do you see how these beads are acting? Like, they don't want to be on there. They're like... I did some nails the other day with one color. Like, all her nails were that same color from, the, from nail house. And, oh my god, they were so runny. They took forever to dry. And... It just, it was not a good combination. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Because I had just ordered some new colors from their house. And now the new liquid I'm using, like, don't even work with them. So I might just have to, like, figure it out because my money is not about to be wasted, okay? But, yeah, we're going in to shape up. And I do have a shaping video if y'all want to check that out in the description box below eventually i'm gonna make a new one i don't know when 
But I definitely got y'all with that. But I'm going to just let y'all watch me shape up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just have to figure out. Like, I'm going to just have to deal with it. But I like the C&D retention liquid. It, I think it's also been helping with my um, lifting because... C&D retention liquid is meant for oily nail beds, which lift quicker, and you don't necessarily need a primer with it, but, you know, if you use a primer, that makes it even more sturdy, you know, like, I had someone come in the other day, and her nails lasted six weeks, six weeks in two days, literally, like, it was a month and two weeks that's wild like that's a long time and some of her nails were it was like four nails was super lifted but then the other ones were on like they were on tight like no lifting and i was like wow that's really crazy and that's actually how long i think i was using the same cnd retention liquid i just haven't mentioned it on my channel i guess i should have but um yeah so i don't know really where to get it because I get it from Cosmoprof, which is like a cosmetology store. But you do need your license. And back to that, oh my God, I got so much to tell y'all. Like, I'm sorry for talking so much. But yes, one of my last videos, I mentioned how I was getting ready to take my nail test. My final nail test to get my license. And on september 24th i took it and i passed i was so scared because i was messing up so much like it's just so nerve-wracking especially because i've been out of nail school for so long but your girl is finally a licensed nail tech so god bless god like i'm just so blessed for that like thank you god that's all i can really say because i was so nervous and i really thought i failed so that's amazing but yeah i get it i get my liquid from and thank you all for all the wishes because i know some of y'all was like oh good luck you know thank you guys so much but yeah i get my nail liquid from cosmoprof but you do need a license to go inside of that store so i don't know but i can if you just look it up maybe you can find somewhere to get it it's the cnd retention liquid but yeah i've been happy with that and i only use my no lift nail primer with it and my nails have been lasting so i'm happy for that and i'm gonna just let y'all watch but obviously once we done shaping i'm gonna have the client wash her nails her hands and everything and then we're gonna get into all of the nail art so i'm excited for that and i'll see y'all soon
So we're done shaping. I had the client wash her hands and for this is going to be the screen face here. So I'm basically just going in with my acrylic paint and just creating that line. And then I went ahead with just a white OPI polish to create all of that white. So some people would like do all black and then the white face on top or something. I don't know, but I like to do the white background because black shows up easier on white than the other way around obviously so we're doing the white background and so that it can pop up and then the ring finger is going to be the knife so i'm just going in with white again acrylic paint and i get my acrylic paint like regular acrylic paint from michael's and these nail art brushes are on my amazon link which is in the description box below same as the tips and we just going in with the knife and i'm just basically drawing the knife out in white so that when i apply it like do the silver and stuff it can pop out easier so yeah i'm just making the outline for that Then we going in to write the Just Chilling Killing. And um, I decided to go sideways with it because everybody was going like in the middle. What's like straight across the nail. But I don't see how they fitting it on there. Like how are you fitting all that long ass word on this itty bitty nail? So I just decided to go sideways. And it was still cute and it was different because everybody doing it the one way and I'm doing it a different way. So I definitely like that fact because, you know, I don't be liking to copy exactly how other things are. You know, I like to be influenced and create it differently. So this was definitely different. So and it's definitely hard writing. I guess I should have did it in capital letters, but I didn't. So, but it was still cute. It still turned out cute. My eye dots was big as hell. But at the end of the day, it was cute, okay? So, and I'm going in with my black acrylic paint for this. And, yeah. Then we going back in for the screen face and I'm going in with my acrylic paint, my black, and I'm going around to create the outline of the face and creating like that ovalish bottom where his mouth is. And then I'm just going in and creating like the face where, you know, the mouth, the nose and the eyes and you'll see everything.
for the knife i'm using this silver paint and well i am going to be using this silver nail polish it's not paint it's just regular nail polish and but i am going in with black to do the handle part and then we going in with the silver and i let that dry Then I'm going in with this pink glittery polish and that kind of matches like the HBIC, the acrylic powder I was using and doing some drips. Um, so I did use the little dotting tool on my brush, but I like doing my method better where I just draw it. I mean, whatever works for you, but I don't know. I just like drawing the drips myself. It looks better because once I put that dot on with the dotting tool and then just draw a line, like it just looks like a big circle and then a line coming out of it. But like the drips I actually draw, it looks like it's actually a drip. You know, it looks evenly put together, if that makes sense. But yeah, we just going in for the drips. Then I did a black outline on the knife and these three white dots to enhance it and it definitely made it look better. And then for this finger, we just going in drawing some pink hearts and um, I drew like the little star with the pink hearts. And for that, I used my white acrylic paint and I did use the dotting tool for that. That's one thing I will say is good with the dotting tool. Like it still looks like a dot in the lines, but it's better than trying to like evenly make the stars because stars are a little difficult for me honestly so it's easier for me with the dotting tool whereas like the drips i'm good with the drips but yeah this is my method of doing the little stars and it comes out good you know it's still cute so Then we going in with the drips again, and this is my method. This is how I just draw the drips instead of using the little dotting tool. Someone actually commented on my last video a couple days ago and was like, can we get like a hand drawn Halloween set so and I was like it's coming soon because I had already had this planned so here y'all go this is for you and then we done with everything we left the thumbs plain and obviously the glitter finger plain so I'm just going in with my Valentino top coat and going to be curing this for 60 seconds and I usually use my CND shellac gel top coat when it comes to like painting designs, but I ran out and I can't find where to re up. Like they don't have it on Amazon anymore. Every time I go to the nail supply store, they're sold out. So I just don't know where to get it. Like I'm getting irritated. But yeah, then we apply my cuticle oil.
And this is the finished look. These came out super cute and different from the original set, which I love. So I'm super excited for this set. I like how we did the dripping on the knife. Oh, I forgot to mention that we even did that. But yes, I love this movie and this set, everything. Like, it's just giving life. But go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. And show any support that y'all can. And I'll see y'all in the next video.